What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you the Dub OL 6pm content. So, let's see what EA have got in store for us today. So, we've got Player of the Month 9. Uh, I think that's how you say it. He looks pretty decent to be honest for a... Okay, 3 star, 3 star, high, low. He, he, uh, I say pretty decent, he looks I Anything more than an 80 is a bit uh, ridiculous. We've got this Volta Rio set. It looks a fantastic kit, but it... Two. You need two teams for a kit. Are you serious? I know you only need silvers, but... What about this? Maybe a... You need 22 silver. I mean, fair play. If it's your, your kind of thing, what do you get for it? You get a T4 and a bunch of other things as well. Uh, I, I mean, if you like cosmetics, I suppose that's a dub for you. But for me, I, I'm just not interested in kits, I'll be honest. Or T4s or whatever. You can earn enough of them anyway. So we've got marquee matchups. Um, we'll have a quick look at what the, the actual ones are. So we've got Barca versus Real Madrid. You need a Barca or Madrid player, so they'll go up a little bit. Southampton versus Everton. Um... Two Premier League players, mixed players pack, prime electron players pack. Dortmund versus Schalke. That looks pretty decent. You need a Dortmund or a Schalke for a 15k pack. And then we've got Fenerbahce versus Trabs on Spore. A small prime mixed players pack. Okay. Wow, the Southampton Everton has the worst pack out of the whole lot. Okay. Um, they've kind of trimmed what the packs were from the last couple of weeks, though. Uh, I, I'd still say it's worth doing it. It's just, yeah, they, they really are limiting you this year. It's crazy. Is there anything... Oh, my God, there's nothing? Really? What the fuck? Wow. Wow. That... Is teams done or is that tomorrow? It finishes in two hours. Well, that's a weird time for it to end. So I'll probably have a video on whatever the new stuff is. Uh, we're going to take a look at the loading screen as well. I can see on Twitter it's slightly changed. There looks as though there's a Napoli badge there. So who could that be? Maybe Insigne, someone like that. Yeah, that's that's... That's either Mertens or Insigne, or it could be Koulibaly, actually. If they're rule breakers, it could be Koulibaly as a centre forward with 90 shooting and 84 dribbling. Actually, I, I now think it's Koulibaly for some reason. But anyhow, we'll we'll have a look and see what the uh, requirements are for the player of the month for Ibrina 9. I might have pronounced that wrong, I apologise. Um... <laughs> Yeah, oh, you having a laugh? You are honestly crazy if you do this card. Eighty-four rated squad for him, bro. All he's got is pace. Like, oh my god, that is... it's not that good of a card. It just isn't. His balance is really bad. Yes, he's got decent agility. His shooting's all right. His pace is quite good. Um. His physical is okay. I mean, decent jumping and strength. How tall is he? 6'2", high, low. I mean, he'll probably play really well in game, but this is the type of card that you would expect to be, like, 10k, pretty much. If he was an inform on the market, he would go for 10k. I don't know what an 84 rated squad is, but I'm guessing around about 25 to 30k. I think that's an L. Like, personally, that should have been an 82 rated squad max. As for marquee matchups, uh, I can complete them in this video, but um, I don't know if I will because I anticipated them dropping the UCL pack, so I'll show you why, you know, I I'll do the marquee matchups in my own time, probably in a let's play, and I would recommend that you do them, even though the packs have kind of been crucified, I still think it's worth it, it's quite cheap. But yeah, you, you'll be able to see here, it says I've got 50, I don't. I've got about 500 uh, rare golds here ready to sell. Once I sell 50, it'll come up with the next 50, so on and so forth. Because they're all 700 coins at the minute. So I was anticipating them bringing the UCL uh, content out. But that doesn't seem to be the case today. So I'm probably going to have to take an L on the investments. Even though they will rise, 
I just I want to be opening some packs for the new rule breakers that's coming tomorrow so yeah I'm probably gonna have to cut my losses there and yeah it, it's in the code the packs are in the code but EA just haven't dropped the SBCs unless they decide to do that at 8 p.m. today because you know that's when the team's event ends so I, I don't know but I mean they're not here right now which is just a bit of a piss take so I'll keep them for a couple of hours and then probably end up selling them tomorrow but anyhow I think the content the marquee matchups is all right but they are starting to crucify it uh, it's still worth doing of course you're probably looking at a 20k outlay for about 60 to 70 k's worth of packs so it's worth it worst case scenario you'll be able to get discard value for that as for the kit, uh, the TFO stuff, it, it's cheap enough. You know, silvers, you could probably get common ones. It's probably going to set you back about 3k if you're meticulous. So if you like that sort of content, maybe that's worth it for you. But for me personally, that one's an L. As for the League One Uber Eats Player of the Month, it's an L for me. Um, there's just so many cards you could get instead of this player that will probably serve you just as well. Um, and yeah, he's going to set you back about 25-30k, so I don't know, they really need to bring it back tomorrow with a, a big promo set, more objectives, some SBCs, some upgrades, you know, really, really go, go hell for broke really, because yeah, the last few days have kind of been a bit disappointing to be honest.